In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the E-steps on your Ender 3 version 2. This is a very simple, quick process that can all be done on the printer and shouldn't take you any longer than about 10 minutes from start to finish. Why do you need to calibrate your E-steps? In basic terms, calibrating your E-steps ensures that the right amount of filament is pushed out or extruded at the right time. The process that I'm about to go through syncs up what the extruder stepper motor is told to do and what it actually does. If your E-steps or extruder calibration is wrong, you'll get either over or under extrusion. This can cause a whole host of complications, so many, including myself, would advise that calibrating your E-steps is one of the first things you should do when trying to improve your print quality. You'll also need to recalibrate E-steps if you change any component on your printer that has anything to do with extruding filament. This can include the extruder stepper motor itself, the motherboard, or even potentially firmware. Let's jump straight in. All you'll need for this is the spanner and cutters that came with your printer, along with something that can measure a distance of 100 millimeters to an accuracy of one millimeter. The more accurate, the better. Make sure you have an SD card inserted because this is where the E-step information is saved, not to the printer's memory. Remove any filament that's loaded in your printer and then also disconnect the Bowden tube from the extruder end. Now undo and unscrew the pneumatic fitting at the extruder and then feed a bit of filament back in so it sticks out a little way. Use the cutters with the flat side to the extruder body to cut the filament flush. Now go into your printer's menu and navigate to the move function. Scroll to the extruder line and change this to 100 millimeters. When you click the button, the extruder will start to extrude what it believes to be 100 millimeters of filament. Once it stops, cut the filament flush in the exact same way as you did before and keep the piece you've just cut off. Repeat this twice more so you end up with three pieces of filament. The quickest way is to turn the power off and on again between each run. Don't forget to reheat the nozzle each time because the firmware won't let the extruder turn until the nozzle is up to 180 degrees. Now take your three lengths of filament, measure them all, and then work out an average of the three. If you're struggling to hold the filament straight, pull it up against the straight edge with one hand. My three measurements averaged out at 95.8 millimeters, so my printer was under extruding. If you're enjoying this video, then let me know by hitting like and think about subscribing. I make regular content to help people just like you with 3D printing and other projects. In your printer's menu, navigate to control, motion, transmission ratio, and note down the figure for transmission ratio E. This is your current E-step setting. By default, the end of threes are all 93, but yours may be different. Now we're gonna use this simple formula to calculate our new E-steps. My measurement was 95.8, and my current E-steps are 93. My new E-steps, or transmission ratio E, is 97.1. Once you've put in your figure, go back twice, and then select storage configuration, and you will hear a beep. This means that your new E-step figure is saved to your SD card. Extrude another 100 millimeters of filament and measure again. It should now measure 100 millimeters or very close to it. If you like this video, remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on Ender 3 and other 3D printer content. Click this playlist for more Ender 3 content or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.